Gav, looking back to the weekend then, um, how do you assess the, the game against Cheltenham and, and what it was like, both in the first half when you were on the sidelines and the second half when you came on? Um, I don't, we, we just didn't get our, in the first half we didn't um, we didn't get do what we are we are we are training during the week to do. We obviously had a game plan and we didn't um, execute it at all at any point. Even when I came on in the second half, um, I think it probably took until when Brownie came on for us to actually like integrate in how we play really. And then from then on, it was just it was only going to be one winner really. Like it was just like they were hanging on, but we got to be more clinical there and kill them. Is that frustrating when what you work on all week doesn't quite come off on, on the pitch or is that part of football? Yes, sometimes it happens yeah, like sometimes that. it happens like that. You can't have it. Um, it's not obviously, look, we're playing in League 2 for a reason. But we're, we're not like Premier League footballers. Obviously, some of the lads would love to get there, like self-included, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Give> but... <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe that one's gone for me, but... Um, yeah, I mean we've got some good, we've we've got a really good squad for late too. We're, we've done we've done all right considering like we we probably we should have a few more points than we have. We know that everyone knows that here. We've the watch just playing that. I think there's only probably been maybe Berry away. Still should have won that game, but we didn't play well. They were a better team. Other than that, there hasn't re there's there's been nothing in any of the games. We've probably, we've been the more dominant team in nearly every game we've played. Um, Obviously, we'd like to score some more goals. Um, I think we've we've tightened it up at the back, considering how many penalties we've conceded. <laughs> um, we'd probably be one of the least amount of goals conceded in the league if you take away the penalties. So, yeah. Hopefully, tomorrow we can um, rectify what went wrong at the weekend. Should be a good game, though. Tranmere, they've come up. They started really well, adapted really easily to, to the level, haven't they? And they've got some the potent strikers up front. Exactly. I think they've um, they've got a good team for um, this level. Anyone I've spoke to who's played against them said they were one of the better teams that they've played against. So we're under no illusion that it's going to be a tough game for us. Um, how do you approach it then? Do you, you haven't had much time to change what happened on Saturday to today. So, so how do you approach it? Everyone knows the job. I mean, we are. It's it's just like a system. You slide into. If you haven't been playing, you just slide into the system. Um, if you have, if you have been playing, you need to up your game and get us some wins because we obviously want to be right up there. We want to be up in the playoffs and that, and or just a point outside. I think at the is it? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. So hopefully get a win tomorrow and push ourselves back in there. Nice problems to be having though. When you look back to last season, when you came in, the team was struggling at the wrong end of the table. Now people are picking us up because we're not quite getting there when it comes to the, the very top teams. So yeah, de change, yeah, it? definitely. Um, I don't think anyone at the start of the season, I think everyone would have had us down for like scraping around again, trying to get a few wins and keeping ourselves up. But obviously, we've um, we've we've over we've probably outdone ourselves, but. The size of club we are and everything like we're only sm like we're not we're not a big club like really for this level. There's you get teams like your Lincolns and all that the followings that like that they bring to games. Um, it's obviously going to be tough for us, but the Gaffers um, assembled a really good squad here, so we want to we want to do well this season and hopefully something really good at the end of the season comes about. And finally, it's a good feeling about the place at the moment. Every time I come to training, there's laughing, there's joking, like just the, the confidence you can just tell is, is flowing through. Yeah, great lads, um, can complain. Um, all the new signings have gelled in so well. We brought some great characters in, really good pros. Um, couldn't be happier with the new lads, to be honest.